Well, even as doctors warn of a possible triple endemic of COVID, RSV, and the flu, the CDC reports that just 12% of Americans aged five and older have received the updated COVID booster shots. And right now, a shot specifically formulated to target newer variants of the virus is available for anyone who has their primary vaccines at least two months ago. So the question is, why aren't more people getting boosted? A CDC survey shows one reason is the concern about side effects. Abby Larico joining us now to verify what we need to know, Abby, and what we're learning about those side effects that everyone seems to be worried about. Good morning. Hey, good morning. So yeah, a typical reaction to a COVID-19 shot can range from non-existent to a day in bed feeling bad. Doctors have been clear on this since the beginning, but the virus has changed and so the vaccine now has too. So let's verify, are the side effects from bivalent boosters different? We talked to Dr. Matthew Lawrence and Dr. Anthony Fauci and checked in with the CDC and the FDA, all touting the new COVID-19 boosters as a helpful tool in getting through our third pandemic winter. It's important to protect yourself and your family from a serious consequence of COVID. According to our experts and formal research, no, side effects aren't any different with this new shot. The FDA explains the bivalent boosters have the same ingredients as previous mRNA COVID-19 vaccines. They're just better able to target the newer, more contagious variants. So we wouldn't expect it to act any differently. The CDC reports the most common booster side effects were injection site pain, fatigue, headache, muscle aches, and fever. The benefits of vaccination far outweigh the risks of COVID-19. Having said that, there is substantial variation in individuals in terms of their side effects. And there can be variety in your response from shot to shot, too, for various reasons, like timing between doses, how you're feeling overall when you get the shot, or even because of how you remember feeling last time. It might just be variation in symptoms as well as distance from the first vaccination. The CDC cites a study showing people are slightly more likely to have adverse reactions when getting the flu shot and the COVID shot at the same time, but those reactions were still mostly mild. And don't worry if you don't react at all. Dr. Lauren says someone with a strong immune response to a COVID-19 shot isn't necessarily better protected than someone who doesn't experience side effects. And the studies have shown that the immune response is equivalent regardless of side effects in individuals. If you are worried about side effects, Dr. Lawrence suggests scheduling a booster when you'll have some downtime the next day. And because it's unknown how certain over-the-counter drugs could affect how well the vaccine works, the CDC recommends waiting till after your shot to pop an ibuprofen. Annie? There's a pro tip there. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for these new boosters to really start working? Do you know? Yeah, good question, especially with the holidays coming up here. Well, your immune response may be triggered within hours, hence those side effects. But Dr. Lawrence and the CDC say it still takes the boosters about 14 days to really meet their full potential. Allison? Okay. All right, Abby, thank you so much. Everybody stay healthy. Mm -hmm.